In this video, we'll talk about how to adjust short-acting insulin dose. People usually take short-acting insulin to cover meals or treating high blood sugar. It starts to work immediately, and it's able to lower blood sugar quickly. Some examples of short-acting insulin are Apidra, Humalog, and Novolog. What are the time you should consider changing short-acting insulin dose? For example, some people's blood sugar is always higher toward the end of the day. Probably they need to go up on the dose of short-acting insulin for meals. Or you may frequently experience low blood sugar after meal. In this situation, you may need to take less short-acting insulin before meals. The strategy I will talk about also applies to insulin pump. Instead of adjusting short-acting insulin dose, however, you will adjust bolus insulin dose or carb ratio if you're more advanced. When you suspect the short-acting insulin dose is not correct, the first step is to check blood sugar right before meal and full hour after meal, and check for a few days. Compare these two numbers. If blood sugar numbers are mostly higher before meal than full hours after, reduce short-acting insulin by about 15% for this meal. If it is the other way around, take 15% more for this meal. Let's look at example. This is his blood sugar lock for four days. Blood sugar before lunch and four hours after lunch were recorded. Suppose he eats 50 grams of carb for lunch every day and also take 10 units of Humalog before lunch every day. You can see blood sugar went down from 124 to 68 over the first lunch it went down again from 137 to 96 over the second lunch, and it went down again on day 3 and day 4. In this situation, he should take less Humalog for 50 grams of carb, maybe reduce it from 10 units to 8 units. Suppose this is another patient who also eats 50 grams of carb for lunch every day and take 10 units of Humalog before lunch every day. In this example, his blood sugar also went down after lunch every day. So again, he should take less Humalog for 50 grams of carb. You may ask me, what if his blood sugar goes even higher after lunch by taking less insulin, as they were already high? The answer is that he needs to find out why blood sugar was so high even before lunch. Does he always eat a big breakfast, or did he forget to take medication or insulin for breakfast? Once the reason is found and blood sugar is no longer high before lunch, it will not be high after lunch. In this example, what will be the consequence if he does not change the dose of Humalog for lunch? Let's say if one day his blood sugar before lunch is 100 and he still takes 10 units of Humalog, what will happen is he will have hypoglycemia after lunch. In summary, if blood sugar goes up, after meal, you're getting too little insulin. If blood sugar goes down after meal, you're getting too much insulin. The correct dose of short-acting insulin is a dose that keeps blood sugar flat after the meal. Here, I'm assuming that you eat the same amount of carb for the meal every day. If you don't eat the same amount of carb, then the insulin dose needs to be matched with carb intake. In this example, we continue to assume that he eats 50 grams of carb for lunch every day and take 10 units of Humalog before lunch every day. You can see that blood sugar went up after lunch for the first day, but went down on the second day. Then it went up again on the third day, but went down again on the fourth day. So you do not see a consistent pattern here. In this example, he should not change the dose of Humalog. However, he should think about why blood sugar sometimes went up and sometimes went down despite the same amount of carb and same dose of insulin. Was it because he did not actually eat 50 grams of carb every day? Maybe he ate 40 grams of carb on one day and 60 grams on the next day, but he erroneously believed that he has been eating 50 grams of carb every day. If that is the case, he needs to make more accurate estimation of carb. Some important points for your safety. First, always check for a few meals before making a change to insulin dose. Do not change insulin dose just based on one blood sugar reading. Second, insulin dose could be different among breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It depends on how much carb you eat 
and many other factors.